Hello guys, so in this video we will be going to see how we can deploy Redis onto an AWS EC2 machine. Okay, so the use case would be if in, if in case in your project uh, you have a requirement to use any caching service, then obviously you, you are going to use the AWS Elastic Cache, uh, which is a managed service for caching by the AWS. Uh, but the issue is this Elastic Cache is comparatively a little costly in comparison to an AWS EC2 machine. So for the development perspective, you can utilize uh, the uh, uh, the self uh, managed service like uh, installed by you on the EC2 machine. And once you go in the production, you can obviously use the Elastic Cache only, right? Also, the elast it is kind of a little typical to access this Elastic Cache. Uh, uh like you need multiple network settings so for development that would be really easier for you okay so let's quickly create an ec2 machine and then after we will see how we can install so uh, we are going to utilize docker to install the uh, containers of elastic uh, the redis okay and uh, using the ubuntu os only and uh, i think we'll keep the as minimal as possible configurations and we are just going to launch it okay so uh, i will quickly share these steps so first i'm going to uh, update the machine then after installing http sub transport uh, packages then after just uh, uh, adding the keys to install the docker and once this is done i'm going to run this docker installation command and once this is done we are going to run a container for radix stack server uh, uh, which is the mainly radix only then after just tested uh, using the radix cli command okay and then after we'll use the radix inside which is an uh, provided managed UI from the Redis only to access uh, access the Redis uh, from the UI. Okay, so we're going to install it and we'll try to access it from the browser. Okay, so now I think EC2 machine is created. Let's quickly connect it uh, connect to it using the terminal and then we'll 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 see it. Okay, so I am so this machine is running. So let's connect it. Connect. Okay, so let's copy this. Okay, so paste it. I think one more important point is like once this those installation is done, we have to open and port as well, right? So I, I will explain you in more detail. So let's say uh, like if you kind of install this uh, Redis and Redis UI, so this would be running on that port is port 6379 and 5440, right? So by default, those ports are not open inside the machine. What we have to do, we have to uh, jump over to the EC2 machine, right? and uh, okay so it is already here so we have to go to the security section inside the security groups and we have to modify this inbound rule to allow the port access right so we'll do this i think once this is done let's paste it Let's install Docker CE now. So this should work now. Yeah. So kind of we have uh, added the repository. Uh, that's it what we have done. And then after I think we are going to just uh, run it. So this command is basically running the Redis stack server. Images from the Redis only. This the Redis stack server latest. And the container name would be Redis stack server. And port we are exposing 6379. So the Redis service would be running on 6379 port, right? Uh, then after I think once this is done, we are going to run this command. So this is basically a command to uh, execute kind of to connect, connect to the Redis container. So docker exec hyphen it is in the uh, interactive mode, the container name and then after Redis CLI. So Redis CLI is basically a command that is going to run inside it. Okay. So we would be able to uh, open the uh, Redis CLI, right? So I'll just quickly switch user and then after paste display and text. So it is pulling the images, right?
so once this is done we are going to run docker ps commands which is the command for accessing uh, kind of listing all the containers which are running right so docker ps you can see this this is running right container is running that's cool so let's quickly copy this and try to paste it okay so now you can see i have logged in into this container okay so let's say we can use any command hget whatever it is right so uh, basically we have to pass the arguments i think that would be uh, if you know that is how you can use it definitely you can you would be able to use okay so this is how basically we have installed it but let's quickly install docker sorry redis inside as well so so that you would be able to see those things in the browser only okay so we we are going to access this redis inside ui using this this uh, public uh, ips right so using this ip and the port is obviously 5540 right so the container is up let's quickly see right so we are able to see redis inside container is also running let's quickly copy this and uh, port is obviously 5540 5540 but as of now i think it would it is not going to work the reason being is 5540 port is not open so what what we will do we will just come here inside the inbound rules right and add a rule custom tp tcp and 5540 port we have to add a uh, 00 uh, like it is asking from where you are you should be able to access so to make it more secure you can you can add here your own ip address but for now i am opening it for all the ip addresses right let's refresh it now so now you are able to see this redis inside is loading right so that's a cool thing okay okay so this redis i think uh, so that this this redis ui you are able to access let's say you want to add in redis instance right as of now database is not connected so uh, we have to add this and again we have to kind of copy those ip address and let's try to test the connection okay so if you see like if you see uh, this uh, let's see if this test connection is successful or not so it is taking more than usual time like it should be accessible ideally okay so i think it is taking more than usual time the reason being is i will explain you the port 6379 is not open right so what i will do i will quickly come here and let's again port open port 6379 for all the ips right and then after just save it and now if you see test connection so now you can able to see the connection is successful okay so this is how basically you have to open port those those two ports basically 5540 and 6379 5540 is for redis ui and 6379 is for our uh, uh, redis server only okay so now let's quickly add redis database so database has been added now you can kind of uh, add any key or whatever you want let's say you want to add a key key name is key 1 and value you can enter so whatever you wanted to do you can do it here right so uh, if you want to understand uh, like use how how to use redis maybe you can uh, watch out some demo videos on on it okay so that's it for this video uh, by this you would be able to kind of uh, deploy a redis onto a aws ec2 machine okay and uh, you would be able to save a lot of costs i guarantee you in comparison to the aws elastic ache okay so that's it for this video if you have any uh, feedback or maybe any queries or any doubts you can post it down in the comment section thank you